I've seen on the news people stabbing each other for 30%. A 30% discount on a KitchenAid. Around this time of the year is Black Friday and people get nuts. Look, they stab each other for a KitchenAid. What if I told you I could save you 30% off everything in your life? Yeah, your life. Today, I'm sharing with you the cost of living in Knoxville, Tennessee. Hey everyone, I'm Ben Barreto. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm the lead agent of Ben Barreto Real Estate and today I want to bring you some more videos about Knoxville, Tennessee. And if you like to learn about Knoxville, if you like to learn about real estate, investing, homeowner DIY hacks, whatever, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. One of the best parts about living in Knoxville, and in fact it's the reason my dad rooted up our family from Maryland and moved us here in 1994, is what we're getting into today in this video. Living in Tennessee is about 19% cheaper than the national average. Today I'm sharing with you the cost of living in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're going to talk about home values, average rent compared to mortgage payments, health care, commute time, gas, education, and we're going to compare all of that to the national average for a base. Now, quick disclosure, my information is coming from various uh, places online. And a lot of this data is older than 2017. I feel so old. I try to get the most recent, but if you want up-to-date market statistics for Knoxville, Tennessee, and specifically the housing market in Knoxville, Tennessee, make sure you check out this video right here where I break out down the market stats in up to December of this year and tell you exactly what that means for home ownership or if you're looking to buy. Okay, so let's get into the numbers of living in Knoxville. And let's start with a little summary of the great city that I live in. Scoring to data, according to Data USA, in 2017, Knoxville, Tennessee had a population of about 700,000 people with a median age of 40.5 and a median household income of 51,848. Between 2016 and 2017, the population of Knoxville, Tennessee grew by 1.01%, an increase also came in its median household income, which was by 3.98%. Also, the population numbers I'm using are a combination of both county and city. Knoxville, the city, has a population of about 187,000 people, and uh, Knox County has a population of somewhere around 500,000. The median property value in Knoxville, Tennessee is 169200 the average, uh, the average cost of a home is, is slightly higher than that. Home ownership in Knoxville is 67.7%. The average commute time in Knoxville is 23.2 minutes. And the average car ownership in Knoxville, Tennessee is about two cars per household. Though a lot of people around here that I see like have about six or seven trucks. So let's dig a little deeper into those numbers. So as I was saying, the median home value in Knoxville as of 2017 was around 170,000. The national average is 225,000. Now the home value has risen by 8% year over year. So that's actually higher now than it was last year. But still the national the average compared to the national average is still 28% lower. So that's still a lot cheaper. The average rent for this area is about $780 a month for a two bedroom, uh, one to two bath apartment. Nationally, the average rent is twice that much at over $1,400 a month. Look, here's the thing for renters. For around $250 or more a month, you could own a single family detached home on about a quarter acre lot with three bedrooms and two plus bathrooms, no more sharing walls, no more giving your money away to a landlord and funding his retirement. What are you paying for rent? I'm really curious. Tell me in the comments below. Okay, back to the numbers and to the real purpose of this video. So, uh, utilities in Knoxville are 10% lower than the national average. And a little trivia, the largest energy supplier in the southeast region of the United States is the Tennessee Valley Authority or TVA as we like to call them around here and they were established during the Great Depression 
and they provide energy for seven states in the area. Seven states. Okay, so your average phone bill is about $159 for one line. And uh, as far as transportation, commutes in Knoxville take an average of 23 minutes, which is about two minutes less than the national average. But I lived in San Diego and it's probably about three hours less. Also, gas is around $2.50 to $3 per gallon or 16% lower than the national average. So we touched on housing and we touched on travel. What about groceries? Is there money to save there? Well, yes, there is. Groceries in Knoxville cost about 14% lower with a loaf of bread at around $2, milk's around $1.60, and you can get a nice big juicy hamburger for $3.65. Oh, they can smell those delicious burgers. But if you shop right, you can feed a family of three, like mine, for less than $100 a week. My wife pulls that off all the time. Every week, in fact. It's insane. So, what about healthcare? How much is healthcare going to run you? 91.6% of the population in Knoxville, Tennessee has health coverage, with 47.4% on employment plans, 61% on Medicaid, 13.6% on Medicare, and 13% on non-group plans, and 1.52% on military or VA plans. Per capita, personal health care spending in Knoxville, Tennessee was around $7,372 in 2014. This is a 3.74% increase from the previous year. How the hell do news anchors do this? Primary care physicians in Knoxville, Tennessee see about 1,382 patients per year on average, which represents a slight increase from the previous year. Compare this to dentists who have to look in 1,893 stinking mouths per year, and mental health providers who see 742 patients per year. Moving on to education. In 2016, the University of Tennessee awarded over 13,000 degrees. The student population of Knoxville, Tennessee is skewed towards women, which means there are almost two females for every one male. Take that home, college boys. The major colleges in our area by the numbers of degrees awarded are at the top, the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, Pellissippi State Community College, and then Roan State Community College, and then we have a whole bunch of other colleges as we move away from that. The median tuition cost in Knoxville, Tennessee is $22,873 for private four-year colleges like the University of Tennessee and about $10,858 for public four-year colleges. The cost of tuition in Knoxville is about $10,000 less than the national average, which in my opinion, my humble opinion, is still too much compared to generations before us. Okay, so I gave you a bunch of numbers. Let's pull up a map and break down the areas and what it what this means to you. So this area in the center is mostly downtown and college in the college campus area where there's a lot of part-time jobs, fast food joints, uh, restaurants, things like that. Uh, you know, a lot of retail shops and uh, it's again, it's mostly college students and and assistant professors working at the college. So the lower the income in that area is going to be quite lower. If you move east, this would be our lower income area of Knoxville. It's still a beautiful area. There's still a lot of great things to see, like Chihaui Park, the zoo. Everything is in that area, but it, it is a lower income area, but it's going through a gentrification right now, and uh, Knoxville is working really hard to make it more attractive and to uh, attract higher income home buyers. If, if you look at the north and south areas of downtown, uh, north of downtown and south of downtown, that's mostly blue collar areas and also still quite rural. And then if you move west uh, into West Knox County and west of downtown, that's where you, you'd be hard pressed to find any houses under 250,000. Look, as you can see, Knoxville is still a cheap place to live. One of the other perks, one other perk is we don't have a state tax, so that's more money in your paycheck. One negative side, however, is we do have, tend to have a higher sales tax uh, at a rate of 7%. Still, you'd be hard pressed to find anything negative about living in Knoxville. Look, it's got great schools, it's got cheap homes, it's got tons of land, lots of natural beauty, and so much more. And remember, college boys, two to one female to male. Your odds have just doubled. So if you have any question about this area, or if you are thinking of moving to this area, give me a call. I'm a local real estate expert with one of the strongest real estate brokerages in the world. And I mean the world. Look, if I can't help you right now, if I can't find a question for you, if I can't answer one of your questions, then I can go find that answer in no time flat. Even if you're not moving to Tennessee, but might be making a move somewhere else, call me still. I can easily hook you up with a great agent in your area with the same training, 
the same motivation and the same values as me. Look, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it and really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. And remember to hit the subscribe button and please share this video with someone that you think would like it. All right, thanks again, guys. And we're gonna break down those numbers down Today I'm sharing with you the cost of living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're going to break, as far as transportation, commutes in Knoxville take an average of 23 minutes. Why can't you just work your way through college as I did? Heck, I did, I used to throw hay and then in the morning go to class and then come home and pick fruit all day and day. Probably not fruit, Pro probably some kind of vegetables or tobacco or something for this area. That was horrible.